context the the, the huh? tongue twister. You mean the tongue twister? Yeah. Remember yeah. last time? The tongue yeah. twister. It's one in aqua. In aqua. No coco yiriaqua. Nelo aqua paraqua. No nelo aqua. Meaning. Why in aqua when aqua no coco yiraqua nelo aqua paraqua no nelo aqua. Why in aqua when aqua no coco yiraqua nelo aqua paraqua no nelo aqua. So who can say it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you all forget about it? Okay, I will post it again. Look at it. Look at the lyrics and then be able to. Practice on your own. And then you come and to the class and then it's, let us see, hear it. And then if you win it, you get your trophy. I won't tell you what it is yet, but you have to practice, you have to say it. We need to hear it, okay? So practice, practice, practice. All right. Uh, do you all have any question before we start? Maybe from the homework or from, I'm still going over the homework. Any question? Any question, nobody? Okay. I wanna make sure I don't have questions. So we're going to start. Um, let me see how many people here now. All right. Okay. Okay, so. I know we did the uh, things in the kitchen last time. That was last month. Let me see if you guys really review. Okay. Let me see if you reviewed what we did. And we also, the homework that I gave to you was for you to make sentences with the animal name. I don't know how many of you. Most of you sent me the homework. Not everybody yet. Not everybody did that. But things in the kitchen, we're going to do it. Um, I'm going to share a page with you now. And let's see. Okay, so you can see a page now. So we have things in the kitchen. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to ask a question. If you know it, you raise your hand and tell me what it is. But I, I'm expecting everybody to know it. Uh, who will tell me? Uh, Guinea won gaji. Guinea won gaji. Okay, I need to start calling names. Um, Chica, Guinea won gaji. Chica. Yeah. Gine Wungaji. School. Ngaji. Ngaji. Talking about it, things um, in the kitchen. Spoon. Oh, um, spoon. Spoon, okay. Um Zikora, Gine wo cup. The car again I woke up. Okay. Chima, again I woke up. Chima, again I woke up. Obi. Obi? Get it? Get it, Obi now. Obi. Okay. You need to unmute yourself. You, you should learn to unmute yourself. Oh, beginner will up. Okay. Obi is not talking. Chile, beginner will up. Chile, beginner will up. Chioma, beginner will up. I saw Chioma's name here. I unmuted everybody. You need to unmute yourself to answer the question. Eco. Okay, Eco. Dialo. Uh, Zara. 
Gene for knife. Zara gene for knife. He had him new check in our knife. I say knife. Mom. Um, knife. Um, is Zuna again a knife? Zuna wants it. Um. Mark what you could get a knife. Nah. Ma ko chukwa neba. Chinua, chinua again ewa knife. Yo, you should learn to unmute yourself. I give you permission to unmute yourself. You have to do that. Chinua again ewa knife. Ma ke mia. Ma ke ya. Ke chioma. Ke donya u chioma with the iPhone. Chioma who? Chioma, meet yourself and tell me who you are. Chioma, are you here? With the iPhone. Chioma, if you are not talking to tell me who you are, take you out. Who is Chioma with the iPhone? Well, I want to make sure we don't have a stranger here. So Chioma, if you, when you're ready to respond, call in again, okay? So I'm removing you. You need to call in again. Chukwu the honor again. A knife. Mma. Mma. Dalu chukwu the yes. Na awumma kedu man ka upe mai ngere mma. But we have two different kinds. Is it mweku ka umma again? Which one is it? Is it kitchen knife or is it machete? Now, when, when I ask you about knife, kitchen knife is mweku. The machete is uh, the big one. Okay. Dalo. Uh, we tell us plate. Okay, let me review. I can tell you all didn't do it. The reason I was asking these questions, because we are going to have a quiz next week. So let's go over again. As I know, we have new ones here. All right, so we're gonna go over the kitchen things or things in the kitchen. All right, so things in the kitchen. So we have Useku. Now let me maximize it so you see. Useku is kitchen. Useku is kitchen. If you have a question, you have to wait until the end, at the end, okay? I'll give you a chance to ask questions. Useku is kitchen. Cup is eco. Nyam eco. Nyam eco. Miss, give me a cup. Wetaram eco. Wetaram eco. Get me a cup. Okay? Get me a cup. Uh, let me check one more person. Uh, Nana is here. Okay. This is Chine Dumis here. Okay, somebody's coming in. Pachunwugu is here. Uh, Cheta Dara, right here. Okay, all right. Cheta is here. Yeah. All right. So plate, plate. Bogeni. Affaire. Plate. Bo. Affaire. Plate. Affaire. Uh, Zara, you're still raising your hand. What's what do you want to say? Zara, do you I'd have like a to question? put it down. Oh, it's all right. That's okay. All right. Um, a plate. Affere. Um, Zara gawe tram affere. Zara, when I said that, what did I? What did I say? Go get me a plate. Okay. How do you say it in Igbo? 
How did your girl get me a plate in Ava? Um, what? Um... Huh? I just said it. So how do you say it in Ava? You say. Mm -hmm. Ga ko chi. When I say, okay, Zara, go get me a plate. Ga, ga ko chi. Ga we taram afere. Yeah, so can you say that? Ga we taram afere. Ga we taram afere. So how about when I say, give me a cup, how do you say that? Give me a cup. Cool. Can you say Nyem Iko? Nyem Iko. Nyem Iko. Nyem Iko. Mm -hmm. Dalo, Dalo. You did well. Um, let me see. Who who can make a sentence with a, with a plate here? Simple sentence. Who can tell me how to say, uh, I have a plate. You know what plate is called, afere. I have a plate is, penwerem afere. Penwerem afere. Okay, so let's start making sentences with one, with them. Ebuka, uh, you want to make a sentence for us? Um, I can do the one you said, I have a plate. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. Okay, good. I have a plate. Okay, now we're going to do Useku. Go to the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. Ghana Useku. Ghana. Useku means go to the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. Somebody will say something for us too. I will not be the only one saying it. You have to learn to say it. Go to the kitchen. Ah, what is this thing doing? I deleted a lot of stuff here. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Go to the kitchen. All right. Um, who give us another sentence about kitchen? Who can make a sentence with kitchen? Who will tell me? My sister is in the kitchen. My sister is in the kitchen. Who's going to make a sentence with that? You know what is my sister, right? Okay. My, okay, tell me. I am in, okay, let's just say my sister is in the kitchen. My sister. My sister is in the kitchen. Oh boy, this one is messing me up. Sisters in the kitchen. Okay, somebody's raising hand. Okay, three people here raising their hands. Let me see. Um, let's see who's gonna tell us what it is. Okay, is it Cheta or Alungwa? My sister is in the kitchen. Cheta, Kora, look at the name with your kid. Cheta. I'm going to worry how to say it. Cheta, why it is just my sister is in the kitchen. One name, why? Uh-huh. One name, why? Nah. Uh-huh. No. No. You're missing preposition. One name, why no, na? Who say, yeah? 
So, yeah, I just missed one thing. What were you at? Chetta? Chetta, where are you? Where are you? One and one. Na, no, na. Useku. Useku, dalo. One means my sibling. One means my sister. Okay? One. That one represents sibling. Uh, sister. But when you say one name, non useku, you didn't tell us whether it's your sister or your brother, which is good too. But when you say one name, one, more boy say one name, okay. So you are being specific. Which sibling is in the kitchen? That's what you did. Okay. When you are being specific, which sibling is in the kitchen? All right. So you say one name one. No, na useku. One name woke. No, na useku. So you are being specific here. All right. Uh huh. One name one. No, na useku. All right. So cup. Kedonye geji cup. Kedonye gawa ye to seji cup and enyoku. Who's gonna say um uh. Uh, where eco, where eco means take the cup, okay? Where eco, where eco, eco means cup. Where eco, take the cup. Take the cup. Nyam eco, give me the cup. Nyam Iko gave me later on the video. Give me the cup. Give me the cup. Okay. All right. A plate. I have a plate. I have a plate. Plate you have ferret. You're supposed to know all these things. If after today, and you are not able to tell me the things in the kitchen, hey, I don't think I'll be happy, guys. You're supposed to know what you, you came to class, and I keep repeating all these things, and I keep making sentences with them, and tomorrow when I ask you about them, you don't know one. That's not funny. Guys, that's not funny. You have to learn, you have to. You have to, uh, I don't know what to say. But after today, and then I ask you a question about all this, and you're still looking at me, you won't be able to tell me. That will make me happy, guys. I'm expecting every one of you in this class to know. At least, if not all of them, at least half of what I'm going through today. All that I'm going to lecture today, if you don't know all of them, Try to know at least half. You should know what they're called. You can't be coming to class. And then don't forget every year I move people to another class. And you want to remain in one class every year, year to year? I don't know what to say. But you have to practice it. Because I'm teaching you something. But if you are not practicing it, I don't know how you're going to learn. You have to practice it. Tell your parents to speak it in the house, please. And I do tell you, you can practice with me. Tell me, test me. How do you say this? Say it then. If you don't get it, I'll correct you. Chica does that too. Chica will say, hey, auntie, did I say this right? Chica will say, did I do this right? Some other students, they do that too. I need, if you don't have anybody to practice with, you want to learn this evil? You need to practice. It's not a, it's not going to, it's not automatic. Okay? It's not going to be a miracle. You don't practice something, you learn it. Just the same way you go to school. You don't do your homework. You don't do what teacher is. If you don't listen in the classroom, you don't listen, you don't do anything, you don't carry forward, there's no way you can learn anything. You have to, please. 
Okay. So, um, and what I met, I said, I have a plate. I don't have, I don't have a plate or I don't have, um, I will give you a plate. I will give you a plate. Agamene, I got you You have a question or do you have something to, want to make a sentence? Yes, I have a sentence. Okay, one second. I'll give you a plate. Agam and Okay, let me say I don't have a plate. Just make it simple for you, okay? I don't have a plate. I don't have a plate. I don't have a plate. And where him after and where him and where him after say that see how you put it in a negative form. I don't have a book. And where him Marco, I don't have a cup. And where him eco. And where him and where him yeah. And where him after. I don't have a plate. And where him after. Okay, Bukangwa. Yes, ma'am. No, you know, yes. You need to say it in Hebrew. Eh. Eh. Mm -hmm. When I say okay, never. If you want to say yes, you say eh. Anum eba, meaning I am here. Eh. Anum eba. Eh. Anum eba. Okay. Mwebuka. Um, Efere Aho Ru Uni Efere Aho Ru Uni Dalo Dea Gini Wu Gini Kiu Kurebu Can explain to us what you said That plate is dirty Dealo Efere Aho Then Ebuka How do you say This plate is dirty Remember there are two different things, that plate and this, okay? If I how do you say this plate is dirty? Oh, I want you to say this plate is clean. Who will tell us this plate is clean? We did, we did some sentences, we did some work last time using those, um, was okay okay hey Buka, do you know how to say that hey Buka, never. Eh, I know never. okay how do you say this plate is clean effort uh the ocha effort again effort uh the ocha no, I said the way you put it is make made a different. Efera, can you say that? Efera. Mm hmm. The uh, the ocha. The ocha, it means it's clean. The ocha. How else can you say it without saying ocha? So you can say, you can put it in a way that this plate is not dirty. Remember, it's also means it's clean, right? So that's another way you can say. But now, the reason I put afere and efere is because I had a buka saying efere. Now, when you hear afere, mobu, efere, they mean the same thing. It's because of the dialect. Someone's dialect we make it sound different. Like some people, we say Efele with L. When you hear Efele, it's some part of Anambra dialect. When you hear Efele, it's a dialect too. Efele, so we're trying to use the central Igbo in the class. But that doesn't mean the other dialects are wrong. No, they are all correct. And as a matter of fact, I keep telling people, speak your dialect. 
speak what your parents speak. But I still want you to know when you hear people saying a different thing, they mean the same thing. Don't say that they are wrong. They are not wrong. They are speaking their dialect. But we are using afere, okay? All right. F afere. Afera de Ocha. This plate, this plate is clean. All right, Dalu Ebuka. All right, so spoon. Can somebody try? I need people to try to say something here. Ah, uh, okay, spoon. I am eating with my spoon. She is eating with a spoon. Okay, let's say that. Let's say Zara is eating with a spoon. Zara ne jingaji e ringri. Okay. Oji ngaji e ringri. So we're gonna say Zara. G ngaji. Zara G ngaji ngaji. Yeah. It means Zara is eating with a spoon. What is that? Are you all right? It's frustrated. Okay. Sorry. All right. Zara Ngaji Erinri means Zara is eating with a spoon. Zara, I see your hand up. You want to give us a sentence? I was going to tell you how to say it. Oh, okay. Did we say it right now? Yes. Now, nah, give us one sentence then. Give us another sentence, Zara. Um, I am cooking soup. Uh, soup. Well, let's say, do we have soup here? We're going to do soup. We haven't reached there. Let's Isn't say. soup often? Oh, yeah, you got it, yeah. So we're going to add it because we are saying things in the kitchen, even even though we are doing items, okay? But it's okay. I can put soup. Yeah. So everybody will know what soup is. Um. So soup is ofe. Um, ofe is soup. Soup, 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 soup. So who is going to make us this? Who knows how to make okra soup? We're going to do some cooking classes, but not today. We're going to have them done. Okay, uh, Zara, I'm gonna, uh, I want you to make a sentence with Ofe. Zara. Oh, Ere. Ere. <laughs> Ere. Nere. Ofe? What? No. How, what, what do you want to say in English? I cooked soup. Okay, now say it in Igbo. You know, eri means you, yeah, you eat. But when you say, if you want to say cook, you say eri, that's wrong. So how do you say, I cooked soup? <laughs> say the right word. Think, mm -hmm. think. I need you to think. Remember. Okay, I know you know it. Inri, mm, ofe. Ah, uh, no. I think you're trying to say eririm, ofe. But don't say eririm because you're not saying you ate. You're saying you cooked. So how do you say cook? Oh, um. How do you say cook? Esirim. Can you say esirim? Esirim. Mm hmm Go S ahead. S-Siri mm, Ofe. Uh, Egwisi, right? Let's say Egwisi. Zara Shiri Efe. Egwisi. Some people say Egwisi. It's Egwisi, not Egwisi. It's Egwisi. S-Siri Ofe Egwisi. Ofe Egwisi. Okay. Now, I cooked a goosey soup. I cooked a goosey. Some people say, 
Esrim ofe e gusi. Esir, I cooked a gusi soup. That's how you say it. Dalo Zara. All right. Um, let's I think we'll jump. Let's did we jump on anything? No. Ofe e gusi. Now who's gonna use fork to make a sentence? In where a fork, in where a dodo is called a dodo, but you can spell it in Igbo like this. With I'm going to punctuate it, so but I'm gonna use a dodo here. In where a dodo, in where it means, did you do you have fork? In where ah. In where oh, I don't know what's going on with my phone. In where Ndodo Ndodo Hmm. In where Ndodo. Do you have fog? That's what it is. Do you? Oh my gosh. Do you have fog? So that's how you say it. Okay, somebody else, give us a, a simple sentence with the fork. Kedonya ga kura yo fui nye. Is there only a buka in this class? No. Kaima. A buka mwa nyanyo ufu. Ebuka, Mwano. Ebuka, I thought you were ready. Okay. They, they do not have forks. Hey, mwe ki mdodo. Ha, eh, mwe ki mdodo. Mdodo. Okay. So now let me back up. Everybody need to pay attention. You need to learn something, please. Useku means kitchen. I am in the kitchen. Go to the kitchen. Gan useku. I'm in the kitchen. Anom na useku. Anom na useku. Ono na useku meaning he or she is in the kitchen. Ono na useku. On or na useku, she or he or it is in the kitchen. Papa non useku, my dad is in the kitchen. Papage, papage means your dad is in the kitchen. Okay. Papage non useku, your dad is in the kitchen. You are in the kitchen. You are in the kitchen. Okay, let's put that one. In on a useku. You are in the kitchen. In on a useku. Okay. A means you. A no. Ah, boy, this is just messing me up. A no. Na. Useku. Okay. Pop, eco, pop, eco. Where eco? Where eco? Take the cup. Nyam eco, give me the cup. Nyaya eco, let's do one more. Nyaya eco, give her or him cup. Okay. Give her or him a cup. Okay. All right. Plate. Efere mobo afere. Efere mobo afere. Okay. Enwere afere. I have a cup. Enwere afere. You have a cup. 
on where after she or he has a cup. They have a cup. Pan where after any where after we have a cup. Any miss we any where after we have a cup. Any and where after we don't have a cup. Okay, we don't have a plate. And where after I have a plate. I don't have after. I don't have a plate. In wege afere, you don't have a plate. In wege afere, you is a. All right. Afere ahu ruruni. It's like Ebuka said. Afere ahu that plate is dirty. Uni ruruni means dirty. Okay. When something is dirty, say oh ruruni. Oh, afem ruruni. Okay. Gasa afere, go wash the plate. Gasa afere, gasa afere. Let's use the for now. Gasa afere is the sentence either way. Ah, I don't know what my computer is doing. Gasa afere. Okay, go wash the plate. Gasa afere ge. When I put ge, gasa afere ge. Go wash your plate. Go wash your plate. Gasa gasa afere ge. Go wash eh, your. Go wash your plate. All right. I don't have a plate. See that? I don't have a plate. I don't. Did I say it before? No. I don't have a plate. And where him affair? And where him? And where him affair? Let's say affair. All right. Afere diocha, afera diocha. This plate, oh, I missed it. This plate is clean. Afera diocha, this plate is clean. Spoon, ngaji. Zaraji ngaji e ringri. Zara ji ngaji e ringri. Zara is eating with a spoon. Ofe means soup. A serum of a goosey. I cooked a goosey soup. I cooked a goosey soup. Okay. Fork means ndodo. Or you can write it in Igbo fork. In where ndodo, do you have, did you, okay. Do you have a fork? Do you have a fork? They don't have forks. Ha and wagi ndodo. In Igbo, there's no such a thing as plural, like X. Okay. When you try to put X, okay. Okay, they don't have fork. Let me just say this. Since you're still learning how to put it together, they don't have fork. Okay. They don't have a fork. Henwegi ndodo. Okay, machete, the machete, okay? I know some of you call it machete. Machete is mma, okay. The big one, the big one, okay? The big, knife, not knife now, it's mma, it's the big machete. All right, we have kitchen knife, mma, eku. We have a knife, which is mma. So let me just put it here. Let me just say knife. But then you want to differentiate the small and big. That's a big one. Um, big knife. So you need to know the difference, okay? And then kitchen knife is a small one. 
as a small knife. All right. Kitchen knife. All right. Mma eku. Mma eku is the kitchen knife, which is small one. Now, uh, pot. Pot is called ite. Ite. Pot. Ite. Ite. I'm cooking with a pot. Ejimite. Eshinri. All right. Chie is oche. Oche. Broom. Aziza. Which is the broom. Aziza. Not Aziza. Now, listen. We have two things here. Aziza means question. Aziza. They are the same word, but they have two different uh, uh, pronunciations and meaning. Aziza. Aziza means question. This is question, not the same. This is the question one. Broom, as it, as, broom is Aziza. Aziza is question. So know this. Don't call broom Aziza. Broom is Aziza. Aziza. Okay. Broom is Aziza. Now. Easy. That's why I put this here. I'm gonna take it out. It's easy. This is this one is pig. It's pig. <laughs> so when you're trying to say outside, it's easy, not easy. It's easy, not easy. Okay. It's called easy. Don't call it easy, please. AZ is pig. AZ is outside. Okay. Now, lid. The lid is the pot cover. Okuchite. 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 Fire is light, which is oku. Fire or light is oku. Oku. When I say manyo oku, it means Put the light off. Banyo, banya say banya. Banya means put it on. Banyo means put it off. Banya on. Banyo now watch my mouth. Banya, banya on. Banyo, banyo off. Banyo ko put the light on. Banyo ko. Put the light off. Okay. All right. Light fire. Munye. Now, when I say light it, remember when you put switch and off and on, it's banye, banyo. Now, when I say light fire, okay, it means munye, munyoko, munyoko, soap, soap. Whether it's the dish washing soap or the dish washing soap or the hand soap or anything, it's called ncha. Ncha. Ncha is soap. Cotton board is mbibi. Mbibi. Scoop is eku. 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 Sponge. The sponge is obo. Obo is sponge. Sponge is called obo rag. The kitchen rag is nkereka aqua. Nkereka aqua. <laughs> this one <laughs> is funny. The rag is called nkereka aqua. Nkereka aqua. Stove is obuoko. The stove. All right, we're gonna stop here today. Um, and when we're at Jojo, 
Omoronya waraju jimwa jijongwa wele akagelu. Make sure you you go over what we did today. That's how you will learn. Omoronya walo ajojo. Abu ni waraju ju wele akelo. Okay, chika. Chika ngwa. Unmute yourself and ask question. Chika ngwa no. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, Chica, I am. A humble chica, Macoya, Archju. And where am I to do chica? Ever. Ever am I to do. Okay, one. Who is talking? Oh, okay, well, we are going to mute everybody so that we can have peace of mind here, guys. Yeah, I need to mute everybody. So I'll let you. Ask I I unmute you when is your turn to ask questions. Okay, Chica, let me on. Chica, unmute yourself now. No, oh, Auntie. So you said that we're gonna do the quizzing next time, like. Yeah, like... you're gonna see kitchen tents in the kitchen, so make sure you go over. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, go over everything. You're gonna see it. We're going to do individual quiz. Uh, um. Ah, uh, Kahoot. Okay, Kedonya was on Wara Jojo. No, that person? Ah, uh, Ebuka, I'm going Ebuka, meet yourself. Ah, uh, humble. Ebuka, I wear them all Jojo. I'm going to I just want to make sure. How do you say kitchen and Ebo? Kitchen. Can you say Useku? Yeah, look at it. Look at it and see. You see it on the screen there. Say, who say, who, who, that K W U U is who, who, who say, who, can you say, who say, who, who say, who, yes, that's how to say it. Thank you, Dalu. The emailer. Any other person with a question? Okay, one. I see you guys next week. Uh, I know next week I may be in Chicago with dancers, but I'm going to record your class. But I'm not wait. Next week it will be what? Next week will be the week of what? Let me see. I'll send out a message though. I'll see send you guys something to go through. If I'm not going to be in town, but I, I'll be performing. No, we have class next week. We have class next week. Um, yeah, it's Chicago when it will be the upper week. So, but no, we have quiz next week. So don't miss class. No excuses. Nobody is going to give me excuses. Everybody should come to class for the quiz. So go over all these kitchen things and I'm going to post it, okay? When I finish all my classes today, I'm going to post it. So look out for it. You don't have phone, ask your parents about the homework, okay? Homework is for you to review. There's nothing to turn in. Just read it, go over it, all right? Okay, I'm going to call the I want to hear everybody. Nobody is saying anything. So I'm going to unmute everybody because I want to hear you guys say cardio. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see some people laughing. Come and say no. Come and say no. Come and say no. All right, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.